Independence and strength, today's women of action sports have long known these to be the standard for going big on the ramps and flying high in the air. Now, the actionistas take center stage at the S3 Supergirl Jam. Fabiola Da Silva and Lindsay Adams Hawkins have arrived to hit the ramps with the grace and power only reserved for women from another planet. And a special snowboarding appearance will be made from Olympic silver medalist Gretchen Blyler. Hi, I'm Gretchen Blyler. On her road to dominating another winter in the halfpipe. Stay tuned to the special edition of the Action Sports World Tour as we hit the ramps, jumps, and rails at the S3 Supergirl Jam here on Versus. Welcome to sunny Southern California. We are here in San Diego at Mission Beach. We're actually in the heart of Belmont Park. It's stop number two of the Action Sports World Tour. Hello everyone, I'm Jimmy Coleman, standing alongside Tina Dixon. And here at the Action Sports World Tour, we've got a brand new event, Tina. First time it's ever been done. It's the S3 Supergirl Jam. Now what that is, it's a celebration of female action sports pros. We've got the traditional action sports events that we've always done in the past, but something brand new. We're actually standing on it right now. If you're wondering what this contraption is, this is actually gonna be a snowboard rail jam contest. We've brought snow to the beach. And Tina, you being a former X Games gold medalist in snowboarding, you have to be pretty excited about that. Oh yeah, you can never complain about snowboarding in San Diego with the beach just down the street. But in addition to snowboarding, we also have a skateboard street competition and in the vert ramp, inline and skateboard demos will be featured. Jimmy, there's a lot going on here, including a festival village and the Donnas will be playing as well. And in addition to the live performances and all the fun stuff here, we're gonna have a special guest a little bit later on, one of your uh, female snowboard brethren, uh, Gretchen and Blyler's going to be here to uh, do a little interview, a little silent reporting a little bit later on. So it's going to be exciting. Let's get right to it. What better place to go big than San Diego, California, an exciting city that loves its sports. From hosting the America's Cup to the X Games, from Major League Baseball to the NFL, including three Super Bowls and everything in between. Today, history will be made in this inaugural S3 Supergirl Jam with its unique all-female competition. But first up, the crazy popular snowboard rail jam. Why walk down a flight of stairs when you can strap on your snowboard and ride the rail? Rail riding adds a new dimension to snowboarding because riders don't need to be on a mountain or buy a lift ticket. All they need is a little snow, a staircase, and gravity. Showcasing the strong influence of urban settings on snowboarding, the exciting S3 Supergirl Snow Rail Jam has attracted some of the big names in the sport, and these athletes are not holding back. What's up, I'm Cassia Metter down here in Belmont Park for the S3 Supergirl Jam. It's all about skate style and snow and having a good time and empowering women. Um, I'm a professional longboard surfer um, and I'm just here to support the cause and be a part of this great event and uh, we're having a great time. It's sunny and we got seven tons of snow and girls shredding on the skate ramps, it's awesome. Yes, it actually snowed in San Diego. Well, sort of. The whole process started early in the morning. Thousands of pounds of ice blocks were shaved into ice crystals, then blown onto the ramp. Think of it as a Hawaiian shaved ice machine, only a lot larger. This method makes snow, no matter how warm and beautiful the weather is. Perfect. Game on. Hi, I'm Gretchen Blyler, and we are here with Chanel Sladix at the S3 Supergirls Jam. How is it being here in San Diego with seven tons of snow? I know. 
I'm really excited. They're putting such an empowering event towards women together, and, uh, and it, the sun is out, so. <laughs> it is an absolute perfect day here at Belmont Park in Mission Beach, San Diego, California for the Snowboard Rail Jam competition. Today is inaugural S3 Supergirl Jam featuring skate, style, and snow is being brought to you by Smallville, Thursdays at 8 p.m. on The CW. By Paul Mitchell. Remember, only your salon can guarantee the real Paul Mitchell. And by ASA Entertainment, the leader in action sports event and television production since 1994. We are Action Sports. to Smallville on the CW. Rated E for everyone. The world's number one off-road racing brand returns. MX versus ATV, Untamed. Supergirl comes to Smallville on the CW. Snowboarding was first inspired by the sport of surfing, but today's competition was obviously influenced by skateboarding. The snow rail finals are about to get underway here at the S3 Supergirl Jam, but first, let's take a look at our all-star lineup. Yeah, Jimmy, we have an exciting field out here. The roster includes a lot of young girls that live here in Southern California, out to compete and ride, and go up against the best snowboarders in the world, including Leanne Pelosi and X Games gold medalist, Jamie Anderson. Well, the format here is we have four 10-minute jams. The girls are going to be judging on what they're able to do on these three rails. There's also going to be a best trick competition. Now, Tina, you being a two-time X Games gold medalist in snowboarding, what are some of the things the judges are going to be looking for? Absolutely, style plays a huge part of the score. But again, innovation and technical difficulty. And now we have Aaron Comstock starting things off in the first heat getting warmed up here oh, nice board slide. Board now, Erin Comstock, Aaron we usually see her in magazines, That's we see Aaron her Comstock in films, and it's great to see her come from Salt Lake City all the way to San Diego to compete. Desiree. Starting it off with a front side board slide. That's going to bring up Desiree Melancon. And it's got to be tough being the first couple of people to go down because the snow is not exactly set, especially being the artificial snow. It's definitely something new and different to these girls. That's going to bring up 18-year-old Raywin Reed out of Calgary, Canada. Let's see what she's able to throw on. So far, Tina, everyone favoring the flat bar in the center of the course. Well, yeah, Jimmy, I talked to the girls earlier, and they definitely feel more comfortable on that middle bar. But, again, it's just the first 10-minute heat. We have three more heats after this, and I, I expect, us to, expect to see the girls change it around. And, mix up here on the course. So basically what you're saying is in this opening jam, we're just basically seeing the girls get warmed up, just sort of getting a feel for things. Look at that front side board slide, changing up a little bit from her first run there. And now let's head back up to the top for Raywin's second turn in this first jam. Raywin coming all the way from Calgary down here to San Diego. I'm sure she's having a lot of fun. And she, of course she's having fun. She won that first jam format followed by Desiree Melancon and Aaron Comstock. And Jimmy, let's take a look at the highlights. Well, this was Aaron Comstock's first run. This was a nice, clean frontside board slide. She gets a good landing out of that one. Desiree feeling very comfortable with the uh, backside tail press there. But it was Raywin's board slide that gets the win here in round one. Well, Aaron, I know it's been some time since you've hit one of these rails, especially here in San Diego. If you've even hit a rail here in San Diego. But what's it like for you to be here in the middle of the summer doing this? I mean, it's really cool, the whole super girl, like getting all the women riders from all different sports. And that aspect of it, that's why I'm here. I'm supporting that whole bit of it. The whole snowboard thing, it's my vacation, but the girl thing I totally support. So I'm stoked to be here. Right here we have the rail jam, which is so sick to see snow in San Diego because I love snowboarding and San Diego's my home and all together it's just awesome. The Festival Village here at the S3 Supergirl Jam is bursting with interactive vendor booths and swag for the whole family. And you never know, you may even get a little impromptu meet and greet with female recording artist, the Donnas. 
Girls don't always get the recognition they deserve, but at this event, you can't ignore it. Athletes and spectators of all ages get in on the fun of the Supergirl Skate, Style, and Snow event here in San Diego. Hi, I'm Heather Petrie with USA Women's Water Polo. And I'm Erica Lorenz. And we, we are, are Supergirls! Hi, Liam. Hey. Hey, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Good, lovely day in San Diego on the snow and the beach. So, how have you been? How have you been this summer? here with my boyfriend we got a camper and drove down from Canada camped all the way down did a little bit of surfing did you come to this oh, event yeah. in the camper yeah, our camper is just parked over there <laughs> <laughs> I love it I love it We are set to start jam number two here at the Supergirl S3 Jam. And as you can see in this montage footage right here, Tina, the tricks are already getting a lot tougher as the girls practice before this jam, maybe feeling a little more comfortable. Snow starting to pack down a little bit better as they approach the lip. Oh, absolutely feeling more comfortable and more confident. We've seen Desiree before here going for the front side board, but getting a little off balance. But Jimmy, you can see the crowds have come out and these girls are having fun. She's coming off of the second place finish in jam number one. That's going to bring up Young Gun, 17-year-old Jamie Anderson, coming out of the South Lake Tahoe area. We'll see what Jamie's got in attempt number one here in round two. We'll expect big things from Jamie. She has had a phenomenal year this past season, including a huge win at the X Games. That's going to bring up Bev Willemeyer from Walnut Creek up there in the San Francisco Bay Area. I thought Jamie played a little conservative there. That board slide to 180 out. And Wow, if she had trucks on that snowboard, that could almost be a smith grind right there, <laughs> Tina. And another turn for Desiree Melancon. We've seen a lot of her so far, so expect some big things. Oh, almost looks like she's going for the backside 180 on there, but having to put her hands down. Jamie Anderson, attempt number two. We'll see if she builds on that first. And wow, I said it was conservative the first time around, and then just a regular backside board slide there for run two. But you got to give props to Jamie's style. She's definitely boning it out there. And here's Bev again for the second time. Oh, and getting on 180 on to 180 off. Technical move there, Jimmy. Going for the switch grind down the rail. And Bev Willemeyer with that last trick. She gets the win here in jam number two. And Jamie being stylish yeah. like she always is, doing her thing. Desiree going for All some right, bigger so moves. Still smiling, but Bev having a great session and she took home the win. So we are here with Jamie Anderson. Jamie, what's up? I'm just here to support the girls. Exactly. Do you skate? Uh, yeah, I skate. Not that good. I try. Like That's why also I wanted to come and watch these girls. They're so good. I'm like, what? Olympian Gretchen Blyler and the ladies of our S3 Supergirl Jam will return for the snow rail finals. And we're expecting a blizzard. What would the world be like without music? LG Mobile, a leading maker of music phones, has partnered with VH1 Save the Music, putting musical instruments back in the hands of over one million children whose music classes were cut. What would the world be like without music? We don't intend to find out. LG Mobile is proud to help save the music. LG, life's good. San Diego is California's second largest city with 70 miles of beaches and a year-round Mediterranean type climate. Here, everyone enjoys the outdoors, especially when the Action Sports World Tour is in town. That's going to bring up heat number three of four here at the S3 Supergirl Snowboard Rail Jam. And here we see Jamie Anderson going to kick off this heat. She got a second place finish at jam number two. We'll see if she steps it up a little bit here, Tina. You mentioned style in the last heat with her. She makes it look good. She needs to add a little bit in the difficulty department, though. Well, she makes it look good, and she always makes it look so easy. But keeping it relatively simple for her, just a board slide again. She's styling it out. But I, I think we can expect to see some bigger things from Jamie later on. This is Bev Vuelemeyer. She got the win in heat number two. She's just been ripping it up on this flat bar. There was a backside grind, 50-50, if you will, the 180 off. Um, let's get set for Leanne Pelosi and Jimmy. One of the best female snowboarders out there right now, hands down. 
always stepping things up, expects something technical and difficult from her. She's dropping into this rail switch, goes on 180, and just notice the authority and the control that she had with that. That's going to score well. We haven't seen a lot out of her in the first two heats, so good to see her posting up here in heat number three. Here comes Jamie Anderson again. We'll see if she can build, like we talked about earlier, playing it a little bit conservative, and she does step it up a notch here, Tina. Getting that spin off and adding the style to it as well, like I've mentioned so many times before. But, oh, Bev trying to step up things as well with that. That was a front side 270 board slide. Very nicely done. So we'll see what the judges think of Bev here in heat number three. And here comes Leanne Pelosi. Again, see what she can do this time around. Switch to 50-50 to 180 off. And again, landing that one with some confidence and some authority. Looking pretty strong. Look at the highlights here. That was Jamie Anderson's first run. This is Leanne Pelosi, run number one. And right here, look at this with Bev. This is a 270 board slide. A little sketchy on the landing, but does make that one. Very nicely done. And Leanne Pelosi gets the win here in round three. Well, Leanne, it took you some time, but you got it. The cab 180 on, 180 off. How are you liking this event? Um, it's really fun. I'm a little rusty because I haven't snowboarded in a while. But it's nice and soft, not icy. And uh, it's great to be on the beach. It's cool. And like all the girls are really killing it and pushing it. So no, I, I've been really impressed today. Whew. Now, Nirvana, you're still an amateur competing here against pros, Leanne Pelosi, Aaron Comstock. You, yet you're not having any problems with this rails. How much fun is it? It's really great like being at an all-girls event and being like an inspiration to others and like for other little girls that want to snowboard is awesome what kind of inspiration have some of the pros here been to you the pros have really I've looked up to them like ever since I started snowboarding and just seeing them do rad things and me want I just want to like do exactly what they do now I know you live in La Jolla, just up the street. How how nice was it for you to just walk out your home drive down here and compete it's so cool like Having snow on the beach, you, you can't beat that. <laughs> now, what are we going for here today? Um, I want to at least place first in one of the rounds. And Jamie, after a season of constantly winning, you get a chance to come out here in San Diego and snowboard in front of this crowd. And you were constantly smiling as well. How much fun was today? It was fun. I wasn't doing too many crazy tricks, but just out here with all the girls. So much fun. Now, I'm watching you guys, and you're always supporting each other. And kind of describe that to someone that may not know us and know snowboarding. Yeah, I mean, for sure. We all pretty much get along. We're all, like, traveling together all winter. So, I mean, we're all, like, just helping each other out. Even though, like, it is competitive, it's really, like, not so crazy competitive. We're all, like, here to have fun and all that. Like, it's fun. It's always a good time. <laughs> So that sets up the fourth and final rail jam here, and we are also going to pick our best trick winner. Now, the winner of that is going to be whoever does the best trick that the judges deem out of all four of these jams. So here we go. Melissa Evans going to start off this fourth and final jam. We haven't seen much out of her the first three rounds. We'll see what she's got here in round four. And Melissa looking comfortable now in the fourth and final heat with that front side board slide. And go back up to the top for Nirvana. Age 16 years old from La Jolla, California. Again, a lot of the locals came out to compete against the best in the world. Now, being that this is artificial snow and it's about 85 degrees here at the beach, I got to ask you, what's the what, what's the factor here with the snow melting? It's getting really slushy up there. Is that going to affect these girls? The land well, the soft and slushy snow will make landing a little bit more difficult, but these girls, again, it's the fourth heat, so they're feeling comfortable, but it will affect the landing somewhat, but maintenance has done a great job. Here we go, second round for Melissa Evans. Going for what looked like an attempt at a nose press right there and ends up 180ing out at the bottom. And for her final run of the day, it is Nirvana getting on and getting off cleanly. And now it's the young Bryn Velaka, 15 years old. She was having problems in some of the earlier jams where she was coming off the rail early and landing on the stairs. So good to see her getting it down here in the fourth and final jam. Look at the replays. That was Melissa there. Her first go, that was Bryn, and this is Nirvana. Almost like a Smith grind there with a 180 off. But it's Bryn that gets the win here in round four of the S3 Supergirl Snowboard Rail Jam. But it's Bev Dolemeyer, our winner from heat number two. She gets the best trick of the day, 180 to 50-50 to 180 out. Hi, I'm Fabiola da Silva, and you're watching the S3 Supergirl Jam. The Supergirl Jam is an all-access, world-class competition and festival for everyone. 
Fans were able to get up close with their favorite athletes, talk to them, get a photo, and maybe a free autograph poster. There was a great cross-section of athletes, skateboarders, snowboarders, inline skaters, and surfers, all champions. These ladies are not only prominent figures in the sports world, but innovators within their sports. Their competitive skills and success has given them an amazing lifestyle, and they were here to inspire girls and women of all ages and tell them that dreams do come true. Vert demo and a performance by the Donnas coming up next as the S3 Supergirl Jam continues. Stay with us. Illusion. It's cool in the movies. But in real life, you want to know what's real and what's not. Guaranteed Paul Mitchell is not sold in drugstores or supermarkets. Buy Paul Mitchell at your salon and you'll get the finest hair care products in the world. Trust your stylist. Protect your hair. Only your salon guarantees the real Paul Mitchell. Welcome back to San Diego and historic Belmont Park, which opened back in 1925. San Diegans love their thrill rides, their beaches, and of course, action sports. We just saw some of the best female snowboarders in the world, but the S3 Supergirl Jam also features a vert demo with some of the best female skateboarders and inline skaters. On the inline skating side of things, we've got seven-time X Games gold medalist Fabiola Da Silva. In skateboarding, we've got some veterans like Holly Lyons, Mimi Newt, Kara Beth Burnside, and one of the up-and-coming young female skateboard pros, Lindsay Adam Hawkins, who just came off of a win at the X Games Female Jam. at the S3 event. Um, the best girls in the world here is from uh, skateboarding, snowboarding, and inline. It's been a great event for women, and that's the first one that I've been participating, and I'm really excited, and I'm having fun watching all these crazy women. <laughs> skating a vert ramp, it's kind of a weightless, spine-type feeling. As soon as I learned how to drop in a vert ramp, I begged my mom, you know, don't make me go to soccer practice. I don't want it. I want to go to the skate park. Now I compete in skateboarding, snowboarding in the winter, and surfing whenever I can. You don't have to do just one. Do them all. I'm doing them all, you know. You can do it. <laughs> I've had a few setbacks so far in my career. Last year when I was 16, I blew out my knee. I was out for about eight months. My dad passing away was a setback. Now I always make sure I put rest in peace dad on my boards. Make my boards a little more unique so that they're not like everyone else. Usually do like different colors, different shapes, different stuff. It's like an adventure. funny when people think that you're like the only girl band that exists or something and they don't, they've never seen it before. Also, you know, you'll go to sound check and they'll be like, can't wait to see this. And then, <laughs> then later they're like, you guys are really great or you sound really great. And it's like, you know, really obvious that they had sort of prejudged just by how we looked or just the fact that we were females. I think that's why we can really relate to um, a lot of the um, women athletes out there and girl athletes because um, a lot of the fields like skateboarding and you know snowboarding and stuff can be predominantly male and so it's kind of you know nice to like when we meet each other feel like hey <laughs> we have similar experiences I know yeah, what yeah. you've been through you know what I've been through we're it's just hard. trying to do something we like we're not like going 
I'm a girl. Yeah. Woo. You know, it's like we just want to be able to do what we want to do, and so it's when, nice. When we met the uh, girls snowboarding team, it was like we could really bond because they always hear that you're really good for a girl thing, and it's like that's such a funny compliment because you know people mean it as a compliment, but it's sort of like I don't know. It's not like the nicest thing to say always because that. To us, it sort of seems like that's qualified. environment doesn't stand a chance as the S3 Supergirl Jam continues with the hottest female athletes in Skateboard Street. My name's uh, Kate Timothy Bollinger. I'm a search and rescue loadmaster on HC 130s from Timberlake, South Dakota. You know, coming from a small town and 400 people in my town, you know, most expensive thing I ever drove was probably a tractor, you know, $30,000 maybe. Now flying on a you know, multi-million dollar aircraft. You know, the pilot has his front, but everything from the back while we're flying is it's my house. See more videos at do something amazing.com. Take the Amtrak South to Mission Beach, San Diego, and you'll find thousands of people enjoying the S3 Supergirl Jam and the Skateboard Street Competition at Belmont Park. S3 Supergirl Jam Women's Skateboard Street Competition started off with a very heated preliminary round. We had 18 skaters. They were divided up into several heats. Basically, each athlete was given one time 45 second run. Then they were judged on how they skated in their individual jam. The jam was half your score. Your timed run was the other half your score. It was a very heated competition, but we narrowed it down to a field of 10 athletes going into the S3 Supergirl Skate Street Jam Final. tricks that you're working on? Uh, well, there's a wall ride here, which I'm pretty stoked on, because I like doing wall rides. I've been to a couple of the all-girl events, and they're never this big, so, you know, it's cool, definitely cool. Now, what is it like for you guys as skaters, you know, to be competing here? There's snowboard contests, there's a vert skate ramp, there's, you know, the Donna's playing, it's an all-girl skate jam. What are your thoughts on that? I think it's pretty sick. This one's like all girls, which is totally awesome. Break down for someone that doesn't know kind of your life is going out skating and stuff. Kind of break down a typical day. A typical day for me <laughs> is like come up from school. First thing I do is skate to my skate park and pretty much stay there about at least five hours. Then like go home, eat, and if my brother comes home from work, I probably go out and skate again. <laughs> I come from Belgium. It's in Europe, and um, it's like a 12-hour flight. So it's a pretty long trip. I know, I'm only here for a weekend, so jet lag. <laughs> I'm jet lagging right now. And um, well, I think it's worth it just to see my friends and skate and just have fun. 
What is skating like in Belgium? What's the scene? Um, there are not a lot of girls, but um, there are a lot of good guys, and they support you, and they help you, and they're good friends. And skateboarding is nice in Belgium. We have good skate parks and good spots, and it's fun, good vibes. Lauren, I've been watching you in practice, and you definitely keep going for it. You know, one yeah. trick after yeah, another. Yeah, Talk yeah. about the drive um, in one of these events, and in skateboarding in general. Well, I mean, with skateboarding in general, you can never give up. You know, long, like the, today, it's all-day event, you know. We started early this morning, and now we're still skating at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So you just can't give up, and you got to stay positive. Uh, how did you get involved in skateboarding? Kind of give us a little background on yourself. Uh, well, when I was about uh, 6 or 7, they built a skate park right around the corner from my house. And just another thing to add to the list of things I've tried and ended up loving it. What else are you involved in? Uh, snowboarding a lot and love golf, motorcycle riding, all of it. When lifestyle and fashion come together, things get very interesting. In addition to the all-star athlete lineup of female action sports pros, the S3 Supergirl Jam also featured a runway show showcasing some of the top new fashion trends. Now that you've met the athletes, stay tuned to see who will come out on top of the S3 Supergirl Jam Skateboard Finals. What would the world be like without music? LG Mobile, a leading maker of music phones, has partnered with VH1 Save the Music, putting musical instruments back in the hands of over one million children whose music classes were cut. What would the world be like without music? We don't intend to find out. LG Mobile is proud to help save the music. LG. Life's good. As promised, we are back with the S3 Supergirl Jam Competition here in San Diego. We've seen some great runs so far and unfortunately a few slams. Right now, let's take a look at the Paul Mitchell leaderboard with our preliminary scores. These are the top 10 finalists that we will see coming up. Before we get this final started, we're going to take a little bit of time to explain the judging criteria. It's very similar to the preliminary round. We've narrowed the field down to 10 skaters. Now, each one of these skaters, they're going to get a 45-second timed judge run. After that happens, skaters 10 through 6, they're going to skate in a five-minute jam. Now, your timed run is half your score. Your jam score is the other half your score. Those are basically going to be added together, and that's going to be your cumulative score. So the first one we're going to see in the final round, one of the youngest competitors here, it's Leticia Bufani. This is a young ripper. She's originally from Brazil, nowadays living up in the Hollywood area, and that's sort of the mecca for street skating these days out here in the West Coast. And this young lady seems to have the grind thing down pat here in this uh, earlier go of the timed run here. Check it out, going towards the hubble edge, going for a nice front side 5-0. 5-0 grind, meaning you're grinding on your back truck only. That was the front side version of that trick. Headed towards the flat bar with a 50-50 grind. That's both trucks grinding on the rail. 45 seconds, a uh, lot of time. Judges are looking for quite a few things out there. They want to see you using all the time in your run, but of course they want to see big tricks. Style does count. You want to make it look good while you're doing it, and originality as well. She seems to like these grind rails. That may hurt her a little bit there, but that was right at the buzzer. Take a look at the replays here, front side 5-0 grind. There's another one that's going the other way on that flat bar. She also got a 50-50 grind on that flat bar, and there was the front side 5-0 down the hubble edge. So nice job by Letitia. 81.13 for her time score, qualifying in seventh place coming into this final. That's going to bring up Rachel Reinhardt out of Colorado Springs. Let's see what Rachel throws down here on course for the next 45 seconds. Going for a nice board slide across the flat bar. You look kind of closely when people go over that wedge deck with the flat bar. You'll see they got a little gap right there. See a little, I call it the gator pit. Oh, she gets hung up on the backside crooked grind. That one's a tough one. You're basically alling onto a piece of angle iron or the rail there, and you're just grinding on your front truck. And if you lean too far forward, you're coming right off the board, and that's exactly what happened to Rachel there. 
Busting out the 180 ollie down that six stair set. Going for a nice shove it up onto the wedge deck. So she's got one slip up here in this run, not too bad, but a way to come back after the fall. Going for the kick flip off the wedge to flat right there. So tough break for her right there. A couple of falls get to 79.13. Lauren Perkins up next, but before her run, we're going to see her talk us through the kick flip because she's the feature of this week's Smallville Trictionary. Hey, what's up? I'm Lauren Perkins, and I'm going to show you guys how to kick flip. You do an ollie like this, but you flip the board as you do it. Comes after the ollie. Once you get it down, you can do it on anything, off the ramps, on board slides, you can add on to it. That's a kick flip. Now remember, keep your back foot on your tail and your front foot by your bolt. When you do the ollie to come up to do it, make sure you flip this foot, catch it in the air. Ollie, flip the board, that's it. So there you go, Lauren Perkins telling you how to do a kickflip. She seems to have that trick on lockdown. That being said, I would expect to see several kickflips out of her in this run. Maybe some variation. Starting off going over the gator pit and has to ditch the board. Have to look at a replay of that. I don't know if she was going to come up short. It looked pretty good from that angle, but you never know. The last thing you want to do is go over a gap like that and hang up back truck. She gets up, gets back at it in a hurry though. Frontside 50-50 down the hub ledge. Here she goes back to the same area she started from. So dare I say she's going to go for the gator pit again. This thing's about four, four and a half feet across, and she gets it that time around. Like I said, you don't want to be hanging up over that with the kind of velocity you've got trying to ollie a wedge to wedge like that. The last thing you want to do is be hanging your back truck in that gap. And the backside board slide doesn't get the board straight and just puts her knee into the pavement there. That had to sting. So this is going to be a tough break for Lauren. Remember, the timed run is just one half of your score. She's still got the jam portion to build on, 68.25. More Skate Street still to come, but first, let's take a break and check in with Tina Dixon at the Wave House. We decided to take a break from all the skate and snow action and head over to the Wave House San Diego for a different kind of riding. This is flowboarding, a combination of wakeboarding, surfing, and snowboarding. And the girls behind me, they're some of the best around, so let's go talk with them. So as an instructor, I'm sure you have people coming up to this, and I, I'm looking at this and I'm afraid. I don't want to try this. What do you tell them? To relax and kind of just be aggressive with it. If you're scared, you're kind of more timid, and that's not what you want to do. You want to be more aggressive so that you do your best and get your ride out of it. Now the falling, it looks like it hurts when it falls. It's about, the looks about 10 times worse than it is. It's just a lot of fun. I mean, not bad at all. So describe when you go in into the barrel. I mean, she's falling, so where do you go when you do fall? There's just a big pool in the back, and then on the side, you just get washed out on the grate. So a cushion landing everywhere you go, so. So it's soft? Most part. <laughs> For someone who is new at this, how long do, can they expect to get good at it? Probably maybe two sessions. That's it's, it. not, it's not something you catch on right away. And I'm here with one of the youngest girls that it's here amongst all these pros. How old are you and how long have you been doing this? I'm 13. I've been doing it since I was like 10. Now, do you surf and how does this compare to surfing? Um, yeah, I surf and it's totally different. It's, it has like its ways of surfing in it, but it's totally different than surfing. It's like a mixture of everything in board sport. So what do you like better? Um, surfing's pretty fun, but like surfing can go a million different ways where this is just the same every time but this thing's definitely fun to practice on and get better like you definitely can get better at surfing also from just riding the wave we'll keep having fun out there all right thanks don't go anywhere when we come back we'll have the conclusion of the s3 supergirl jam skateboard street finals The S3 Supergirl Jam is brought to you by Smallville, Thursdays at 8 p.m. on The CW. And by the U.S. Air Force. Go to DoSomethingAmazing.com and watch Airmen in action. And by LG Mobile Phones, a proud supporter of action sports and its athletes around the world. LG, life's good. And by BFD.com, launching November 9th. And yeah, it is a big deal. Smallville on the CW. 
We set out to make the finest hair care products in the world. We never test it on animals. And we love the environment. Our success makes us a target for counterfeiters. They copy our packaging and basically sell you an inferior product. If you find our product in any drugstore or supermarket, it is either counterfeit or black market diverted product. We've done it right, and we've got a great track record. Only your salon guarantees the real Paul Mitchell. Supergirl comes to Smallville on the CW. Welcome back to Belmont Park in San Diego, California. It is the S3 Supergirl Jam, and right now it's time to find out who's going to take home the inaugural Skateboard Street Supergirl Jam title. We are winding down our Skateboard Street final here at the S3 Supergirl Jam. Next up, we're going to see Lorena Lima representing the Garden State coming out of New Jersey, starting off with Kind of a sketchy backside 180 up onto the deck there. Looked like she was going to lose her balance, have to step off the board there, but good save. Coming back the other way, going to hit the hubble ledge there. Backside 5-0 grind down the hubble ledge. One thing to notice about Lorena here, she is attacking the course at a lot quicker of a pace than we've seen the other girls in the time runs thus far. Look at how fast she goes from obstacle to obstacle. And really, 45 seconds, it goes pretty quick. Look at, oh, going for the gator pit there. I don't know what she was trying to do. It looked like maybe a shove it, or maybe she was trying to pop shove it, grab the nose of the board, do a hand flip on that one. I don't know what's going on. Either way, though, she falls, she gets right back up, keeps it going here. A little bit of time left, so she get one more trick down in here. Backside wall right off the quarter pipe into that uh, recessed flat wall. And all this is after time. The buzzer went right after the wall right, so it won't count under score. Take a look at the backside board slide there on the flat bar, and this was at the very end. This was last trick. Wall ride, so despite the fall, got back up, put it down in a hurry. Score of 77 flat, so not a bad way to go, even after having a little trouble going over the Gator Pit. That is going to bring up Vanessa Torres out of the Los Angeles area. She was ripping it up in the preliminary round. We'll see what she can do here in the final. Hitting that slant wall, going for a pretty casual backside wall ride, going for the hubble edge and goes down, can't quite hang on to the backside nose grind, or what we call the crooked grind. And I mentioned the pace with Lorena Lima. Look at how Vanessa here, she is in no hurry to get back up and continue her run, and that's definitely going to hurt her score with the judges. And she almost looks like she's not even into this at all at this point. She's just like, ah, all right, I bailed the crooked grind. Big deal. Now what? So a uh, little bit of time left here. She's got time for one more if she can squeeze this one in. So she goes for that crooked grind again. Back foot was floating all over the place. But she does get that one down. But again, not really uh, not really in a hurry here. So the lack of tricks in this run can affect her score. Smith grind and takes a tumble there. But the buzzer went before she hit the transition there. So that Smith grind fall shouldn't affect her score at all. This will be uh, the 50-50, backside 50-50, or frontside 50-50, I should say, going across that flat bar. And despite all that, she still gets a 79 flat. So that was a rather generous score there for Vanessa. So girls taking some extra practice runs in between the time runs here. And as you can see, they know that there's some prize money on the line here in the Supergirl S3 Jam title of Skateboard Street on the line. So definitely the uh, tricks are they're up in the ante a little bit here. Look at that nice kickflip. There's another shot of Vanessa Torres here going for the backside. Disaster didn't see that in the run, but uh, getting that down in between runs. So that's going to bring up Amy Karen out of Huntington Beach. 22 years old. She, too, was having a really good run out there in the preliminary round. We'll see what she can do here in the final. Nice ollie from wedge to wedge. And, oh, the front side 5-0 grind. All right, we're just Looks like the board just got too far ahead of her there, and she just had to spit that one out. So give herself a reset here. See what you can do with this last little bit of time, going for the kick flip to Fakey on that wedge. Nicely done. Going to hit the wall right here, backside wall ride. Coming back the other way. And she, too, kind of looking like she's losing a little bit of interest in the run at this point. Definitely slowing her pace down. You really got to get out there and you got to hard charge it, whether you're pulling your tricks or whether you have a fall. Going for the front side wall right on that recessed wall. So two falls in this run. This is definitely going to hurt her here, going for the backside disaster, getting that one down clean. 
time winding down here. Maybe got time for one more here. The rock and roll, the fakey. Just playing it casual, playing it conservative here. So this is going to be a tough break for Amy Karen. Take a look at the replays here. That was what started the runoff. She ollied from wedge to wedge. This was the first wall ride attempt going backside. Pulled that one. She ended up falling on the front side wall ride. 79.63, so she upped it from Vanessa Torres' run. So again, that one's pretty generous compared to what we've seen out of the other skaters thus far. Lacey Baker coming out of Covina, 15 years old. She's going to be our next skater in. We'll see what she can do here. Time starts as soon as they drop in. Going for the kick flip from the wedge up to the deck of the box jump. Have yet to really see anyone do any of the kick flip tricks in their actual timed run. She started off strong and she kind of seems to be slowing it down a little bit here. Sometimes people tend to get a little bit lost in this course. Maybe you don't land the trick the way you want to, or you don't land in the area that you planned on landing and you get lost and it just throws off your whole mental plan right there. You're like, oh great, now what? You just sort of have to make it up as you go along. So I don't know if that's playing in at this part of the game or what, but uh, there's a 180 ollie from the wedge to the flat which is pretty difficult and kind of a gamble in this parking lot because you can't tell from the camera angles here, but this is a very rough parking lot. I mentioned this earlier. It's not too conducive to be rolling across this thing on urethane skateboard wheels, so going from the wedge to the flat is definitely a gamble because you're kind of stopping your flow and your momentum there. So that's going to do it for Lacey Baker. There was, there was the backside 1-8. Lance Flat gets that one clean, gets around. Coming up fakey, going for the kick flip there on one of the wedge ramps, and at the end, the front side kick flip on the wedge ramp and that puts her with an 85-25 and that bumps her up to first place. Well congratulations Lacey and first of all you already had a great first run hit most of your tricks but I want to talk about that jam session for you because I saw you hit so many kick flips including three in a row off the staircase. How was that for you? It was pretty intense. I had a good time doing it. Just I don't know it's just what I love to do. Skate. No, I could tell you were you landed him and you coming up and big smile on your face overall. What was the vibe for this event? Um, pretty interesting. A lot of like fans for skateboarding out here, just cheering us all on, just making it more. I don't know, solid, good, good vibes, very good vibes, good vibes. Did you land everything you wanted to? Yeah, and more. <laughs> I I wasn't planning to do the three tricks that I did in a row off the three or the the fives, but yeah, it was not planned. So you were feeling it then? Yeah. It was good. Right. Well, it was fun to watch. Congrats. Thanks. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. <laughs> taking a look at the Paul Mitchell final results board, it's Amy Karen out of Huntington Beach, California, taking the bronze. 14-year-old Letitia Bifani taking the silver, but it was Lacey Baker getting the win here at the S3 Supergirl Jam. That wraps it up for competition here in Mission Beach. Congratulations go out to all of our winners in Skateboard Street as well as the Snowboard Rail Jam competitions. For more about the event or the athletes, you can log on to www.actionsportstour.com. I'm Jimmy Coleman for Tina Dixon. We thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. But for right now, you can rock it out to the Donnas.